Hello YouTube, it's PC Gaming XO here. Sorry, uh, I sound a bit tired. Um, it's kind of really early in the morning, but I just wanted to throw a video out for you guys. Um, this is how to create a Bucket 1.0.0 or higher server. So, say if a new version of Minecraft came out and it's like 1.7.9 or some crap like that. Um, you know, this is just how to create a server for it. Um, if you follow this tutorial properly, you will not have any issues whatsoever. First off, what you want to do is download Java JRE. Um, don't worry, all these links will be in the description. But yeah, first off, what you want to do is download this. So, right, to download a 64 bit version, you download Windows X64. If you, if you are on a 32 bit version of Windows, then you download um, x86 or x86 offline. <sighs> ah, sorry about that. <laughs> I'm really tired. And you just accept, download your version, and you know, just download it. I mean, I don't need it, I've already got it installed, so I'm just going to cancel it. So once you've got that installed, what you really want to do is just create a new folder on your desktop or whatever call it uh, I don't know Minecraft Bucket Server As you can see we've got a bucket server like kinda created alright what you want to do first is open it up right click go to new text document and then just double click it and what you're going to need is you're going to need this certain code no. Um, yeah, this will be in the description as well. If you have Java 7 JRE, make sure you use this one. If you have Java, uh, just JRE 6.9 or some crap like that, and use this version. I'm going to use this version because it's the version I actually have. It's beta 7. Um, if you're on 32 bit, I think you just leave it. No, if you're on 32 bit, what you do is put bracket or space bracket x86 bracket I failed there really badly what that'll do is that'll just make it a 32 bit 32 bit version if you want to increase the amount of gig of RAM it's using then just change that number um, if you do have 2 gigs or lower I would not recommend running a server unless you don't play Minecraft on the computer so once you got this, what you want to do is go to File, Save As, and then rename it to I don't know Server, and then make sure you put dot bat bat. Just do that. If you don't do that, it don't work. Then what you want to do is running it. Uh, no, never mind. You don't want to run it because we forgot one vital thing. <laughs> then what you want to do is go to Craft Bucket. Uh, there might be a recommended version out. Just make sure you read this. If it says last promotion 1337, don't get it. If it says last build, so that one. And then, yeah, get that one because that's for 1.0.0. Oh. Do just click that. And then, desktop, save it. Now just wait for it to download. I'm just going to pause it here while it's downloading. So, yeah. Okay, I am back. <laughs> So what you want to do once you've downloaded it is wherever it's downloaded to, so mine's the desktop, so mine's that. What you're going to do is just drag it in like that. Sorry, that's my cat. Double click the server.bat. Okay. If you get this error system cannot find specific path, what you're going to do is just edit the, the document thing again. So mine obviously is an x86. What you do is just file, save. Now run it. As you can see, it starts to create the server. Uh, you may get a couple of errors saying system may not be able to find system and creating new. So that's what it's going to do. It's just going to create all these files for you. Once it's done that, I'll just wait. I'm going to stop. Okay. Give it a minute.
maybe it's just being really slow. <laughs> anyway, oh, it's stopping because I don't know what's going on here. There we go. Never force shut down your server, you will crash your world. So what you're going to do is go to server properties. And these are where you can edit all your stuff. The port is what you port forwarded with. That's what you need. Unless you're using a Hamachi. If you're using a Hamachi, you put your Hamachi IP and server IP. Other than that, you leave this all in, uh, as it is. I mean, you can choose what options you want. Difficulty, I think 3 is, ha uh, is hard. Uh, game mode 0 is creative. Or created. Sorry about that. Kind of missed. Like someone walked to my room as I record, so I had to pause. Um, but anyway, this is where you edit all your stuff. So your message of the day is what people will see on your server. So I'm gonna put low cats. I don't know why. Save it. Then you're done. And then that's your server set up. Perfect server. No problems at all. Right. Some problems that I had is cannot find a specific path even when you've edited the code make sure your java well this is called snap bat basically if it's got a, like a bracket one because you download multiple make sure you just right click rename and then just remove the bracket one like that and then it should be all fine fine and dandy um, so yeah let's just recap what we've done um, so x86 version is bracket x86 which means it's 32 bit uh, try it like that if not then put a space there and then try it cause I think it is a space I can't remember but yeah one of them two is for 32 bit yeah I think it's space but anyway but that's pretty much it for the tutorial today um, I hope you have no errors whatsoever if you have failed to bind port when you run the server, so like that, you run it, and then, one minute, I can get the error up like that. Failed to bind port, what you want to do is just close this, start, task manager, java w, end, end process. Well, no, that's just ending my Minecraft, it's java, sorry. End, end process, and then, what I should do is that should essentially fix your problem of um, failed to bind port if you've accidentally double clicked this like that then when you try to run your server it will just say errors like this and then you start go to java end or java w end and then run the server you can see it loads perfectly fine We'll just test it on Minecraft. And as you can see, we have log cuts. And as you can see, we have a server. Uh, people are complaining that you can't destroy stuff near spawn. That's because bucket has a spawn radius protect. What you want to do is just op yourself, really. And then you can destroy spawn, so op zaps 2k8. And now you can go over to where spawn is and destroy it if you wanted. See? So, anyway. Thank you for watching, I hope this tutorial helped, um, rate, comment and subscribe, thank you for watching.